to respond to Donald Trump's message and talk to us about a state that has a lot hanging in the wind this election cycle, and that's Kentucky. The latest state poll shows Donald Trump with a sizable lead, 35 to 22 over Marco Rubio. That poll, of course, was taken before Thursday's fiery debate and the speech made by Governor Mitt Romney. But state leaders wonder what a GOP ticket led by Trump could do to other candidates on the November ballot. Former Congresswoman Ann Northrup thinks Marco Rubio is a better fit for her state. She chairs Rubio's Kentucky campaign and joins us from Louisville. Thank you so much for joining us. So good to be with you. So I want to play a soundbite from uh, Marco Rubio right off the top here and get your response to it. Take a listen. If he's our nominee, it will split the Republican Party and it will be the end of the modern conservative movement. He, of course, is talking about Donald Trump. You just listened to Governor Jan Brewer, who said Republicans are eating their own, and that's being exposed this election cycle. So is that an example of Republicans eating their own? There's a vigorous deba debate going on, no question. And I think there is great concern, especially here in Kentucky, about what a Donald Trump at the top of the ticket would mean. We are just about to make history in Kentucky by retaking the Kentucky House of Representatives that we haven't had for, for probably 100 years. And, of course, we already have all the safe Republican seats. The couple that we have to pick up are swing districts. And if Donald Trump is at the top of the ticket, there's no chance we will take those. Just as if Donald Trump is at the top of the ticket, we're not going to get Virginia or North Carolina or Colorado or Florida. And we will once again have a Demo we'll have Hillary Clinton being the president of the United States. So this passionate debate we're having is about whether or not we're going to put somebody at the top of the ticket that not only can win the nomination, but can win in November, which is the whole point. Yeah, um, and like you said... Kentucky has so much at stake this election cycle. So much. Senator Rand Paul is running for re-election. Uh, obviously, exactly. Mitch McConnell could lose his Senate Majority Leader status. That is a that's very impactful. So, uh, why does the top trickle down so much? Well, because every if Donald Trump, especially Donald Trump, is at the top of our ticket. I mean, he has become a bamboozler, a clown. I mean, it's when Jan Brewer talks about the big tent. The big tent that he's attracting is is a circus. I mean, the the event he had in Kentucky this week almost turned into a riot. The one he had in Louisiana almost turned into a riot. And as he makes his ridiculous statements, and whether it's the KKK, whether it's flip-flopping on where he is on visas and and many uh, and and torture and so forth. Every single Republican candidate down the ballot is going to be asked by the press, do you disavow his statements? Do you disavow him? Are you going to support him in November? And they are going to be in a very dangerous position in terms of knowing that the people in their district and in their part of the country don't agree with that. So that's why he has this sort of rabid following, but it's, a very, it's, it's less than a majority in the Republican Party. It's far less a majority nationally. He is down in every poll but one to Hillary Clinton. Marco Rubio is up in every poll against Hillary Clinton by an average of five points. We need to put somebody at the top of the ticket that can actually change the direction of this country by winning in November and by then being able to take us in another direction. That won't happen with Donald Trump. He won't be elected, and everybody under him will be put on the defensive as he makes the ridiculous statements he makes and, and flip-flops and causes all this chaos. That people sense that right. the chaos is a problem for us. You brought up an interesting point, though. You said he is a, a rabid following. So what are Republican state lawmakers, uh, they have to walk a tightrope. So how do they disavow what he's saying? But also, uh, what if they want some of those, those voters? Well, first of all, you know, overwhelmingly in the Kentucky State House and the State Senate, they have endorsed Marco Rubio because they understand not only can he change things in Washington, which they definitely desperately want, but they will make him them proud as they run their own campaigns in the state. And they're running from having somebody who is so erratic, so undependable, somebody that could be a liberal before he ever gets to November, that they will then be, be stuck being on the same ticket with. So, you know, you see our, I mean, these are, these are lawmakers in our state house. They are part-time lawmakers. They are, they come from every walk of life. They're, they're teachers, they're nurses, they, they, 
They uh, are low paid as, to be in the General Assembly, and they are walking around their communities every day, and they are concerned about having to answer the crazy right. things that Donald Trump would say if he were at the top of the ticket. Right. Well, former uh, Representative Ann Northup, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, now you are thank speaking you. on behalf of the Rubio campaign. Thank you so much. Big day.